turning, winding. I'm on the top of the world. I am talking about water slides out the wazoo. Oh. Oh, no. Let's ride. Rock. Cheapo Springs, you can throw the whole family in that puppy. of Blizzard Beach is a little ditty they like to call Summit Plummet. It's just you and what's left of your bathing suit doing 55 miles an hour straight down the chute, brother. Let's get it on. Mm -hmm. How bad can it be? Summit Plummet? I mean, that doesn't sound... Okay. Woo! It's go time. You look down and you don't see your feet, you don't see anything. Next on the countdown, we go to Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. It blows other water parks away. This way. Look at all these lazy people in the lazy river. Humonga, Kawabonga. You better hit the storm slide. Yes. The number five Walt Disney World must see. Check it out. Next on our countdown and Disney Water Park's latest invention, Crushing Gusher. This hydro ride's a little different from the rest. It's actually like a water coaster. So pretty much your ride raft becomes the ride of your life raft. Here's what happens. The Crushing Gusher's super-powered water jets launch you, boom, like a slingshot on steroids, then score you uphill and down and through hairpin turns faster than you can say, <laughs> where's my bathing suit? Sounds like fun, right? So let's hit it. Heads up, hairpin turn. Awesome. Don't go away. When we come back, the number four must see at Walt Disney World Resort. Okay, I want to tell you about a couple of real time savers. Disney's Fast Pass and Disney's Photo Pass services. Disney's Fast Pass service is so easy to use and it can cut wait time at some of the most popular attractions. Here's how it works. Go to any attraction with a Fast Pass kiosk and insert your admission ticket. You'll get a receipt imprinted with a designated ride time. Now just go and enjoy the rest of the park. When your ride time rolls around, come back to the Fast Pass entrance, hop on board with little to no wait at all, and it's included with your theme park admission. So look for the Fast Pass signs while you're in the park, and that's it. Pretty sweet, huh? Now, Disney's Photo Pass service is just as brilliant. It's a new way to capture, view, and share photos taken by Disney's Photo Pass photographers. How's it work? You get a Disney Photo Pass card, which links all your vacation pictures together into one free online account. Now, when you want, you just jump online, register, and view, share, and purchase the pictures you want. Plus, now you can create awesome photo keepsakes too, like Disney's photo book and photo movie. And the best part is, you get great professional shots with your whole family in the picture. Fast Pass and Disney's Photo Pass. You gotta love it. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom Park. Are you Disney yet? Magic Kingdom is the heart of the Disney experience for kids of all ages. It's the center hub for all the classic Disney magic. Peekaboo. Good boy, Dumbo. There's my Mickey. Extra. 
actually classic and enhanced Disney magic, like Pirates of the Caribbean, now starring Captain Jack Sparrow. Yep, the most notorious pirate ever to sail has thrown anchor here at the Magic Kingdom, and he's causing quite a stir in this classic Disney attraction. So get your booty over there to see Captain Jack. And as part of the year of a million dreams, you can live your dreams through immersive entertainment, where suddenly you're not watching a parade, you are the parade. You not only see a princess, you become one, or a cowboy, or a pirate. It's make-believe made real, and it's happening all around you every day. You know, when most people think of the Magic Kingdom Park, they think of classic Disney experiences. I'm gonna ride that puppy! And while that is true, there are some great additions here. Like Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, inspired by Disney's presentation of Pixar's Toy Story 2. Also new to the Magic Kingdom is an amazing dream-inspired stage spectacular called Dream Along with Mickey, starring Mickey and just about the whole gang in a fabulous celebration of the dreams we all have in our hearts. is a classic Disney Triple Crown. Or should I say Triple Mountain Whammy. Check it out. The number four Walt Disney World must see. Here we go. Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Big Thunder Mountain. And lucky me, I'm gonna hit them off. Triple Mountain Whammy. That was so great. Big Thunder Mountain. Wham, wham, wham. Splash Mountain. It's all wham. Now don't go running out of Magic Kingdom just yet, because when the sun sets, something pretty amazing happens. The sky comes alive to a little thing called Wishes. Wishes is the baddest, biggest, most fantastic, eye-popping, mind-blowing Big Daddy fireworks show in Disney history. And it's the ultimate end to any Disney day. Those fireworks were the most amazing thing. This story in the sky is one of the best blasts of Disney magic to date. We now return to the top seven must-sees at Walt Disney World Resort. <laughs> like that? <laughs> Welcome back to the top seven must-sees at Walt Disney World, everybody. I'm Stacy, and to reveal the next attraction on our countdown, we are here at the place where show business takes center stage, from thrill rides to kid-friendly fun and shows, the Disney Studios. The Disney Studios is a great place to catch a kid-friendly classic like Playhouse Disney, live on stage. Yeah! Move it on. Or the incredible nighttime spectacular Phantasmic, where Sorcerer and Mickey battles it out with the evil villains of Disney past. We're gonna go find some characters. You have very nice Donald. I love Goofy. Woo! Hi, what big eyes you have. Woo! Hi. And nice nails you have. I love your hair. Oh, can I live here with you? Indiana Jones. He's cute. You know. While you're at the studios, you are just a stone's throw away from a couple of the biggest thrills this side of Neverland. So come with me. We're going to go check them out. This is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. It takes you 13 stories up and then drops you faster than the speed of gravity. And to make things even worse, this thing now serves up random ride sequences so you never know what you're going to get. called the Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. In the name of all that rocks. 